So Dr. Scafidi's work is about making what's not visible visible. For people who've been through instances of violence or multiple instances of violence, they can develop bruising on them that's not visible. And in a courtroom, every bit of evidence helps. So when we've had someone who's gone through abuse and we have all of these pictures that can say, yes, these, you know, we have, we have evidence of this. It brings closure to the person who's gone through it, and it also helps them move their case forward. And that aspect of it really drew me to the project. I am part of the engineering team that is under the civil engineering department. We are doing deep learning and bruise analysis. So we're taking bruise images and using a computer to tell if there's a bruise in this image or if there's not a bruise in this image. After we create this bruise detector, then we can take it a step further and create an objective index for bruise classification. We're part of the health informatics part and uh, basically our procedure was we first research all the different imaging informatics systems that uh, are available um, and that are free and open source and then we choose like the top three um, ones that fit our needs the best and then we are now installing those three systems and configuring them. So we have two sets of goals, right? So the first set of goals is about the educational experience for the students. Uh, it's about getting two undergraduate students to develop skills in data analytics and machine learning that they can then use and translate to whatever their actual domain of application is uh, that can lead them to future advanced research projects or to new career opportunities. When it comes to the research goals of the project, really what we're trying to do is first identify the feasibility of building this type of an AI system at all, and then trying to determine the level of accuracy and the behavior of, this, of, an, of the AI with respect to the types of images that it's looking at. It's really interesting, actually, to see everybody's um, point of view and perspective on the same topic. Um, it's super helpful to to understand like the nursing aspect and the engineering aspect when I'm working on my aspect of the project because we better understand what you know different people are expecting from our 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 side of the project. The students will gain is is a, a, a good appreciation for the importance of a multidisciplinary approach to research. Research really shouldn't be conducted in silos. It should be done by uh, working with other disciplines uh, together on a common project, and you can have that, those wonderful different perspectives on the, um, how to address that particular problem. While conducting research, we have to make sure we're very task-oriented, that we don't go down the wrong rabbit hole, uh, th always thinking about the bigger picture. Um, making sure that the tasks we do have a meaning. My favorite part about this research is that I can take my time learning about all the different things that ultimately come together into this, the final goal that we have. Whether that is specifically data science related or medically related uh, or just anything in between.